You know what? I'm a Panthers fan. I want the Eagles to win next week. But I want the Saints out. Alright? So. Unfortunately, it's not looking like they're going to be out. But. What is it? Like 24-23? Fourth quarter. Everybody moved on the line except for Elfline didn't snap it. I hope the Saints. The Saints are probably going to be going to be harder. All right. Use that. I got to use the timeout, but I have a lot to make up, so I don't know. Seventeen seconds left. Oh god, this is a close game. Timeout taken by the Vikings. They're out of timeouts. I still can't believe the Saints got that friggin' field goal. With 18 ticks remaining, down by one. And either they're going to catch the ball and get out of bounds and stop the clock, but if it's inbounds, they either have to get down or the you know, score a touchdown, but... I got to root on the Vikings for 10. I'm not putting Vikings fan. I'm putting Panthers fan because, you know, I was so mad after that game. You know, I felt we were cheated and screwed in that game. But, hey, it is what it is. If the Saints win, they win. It is what it is. But I want the Vikings to really win. Yeah, nothing. You got to throw it away. Oh, my God. They are, like, pretty damn far from there. They're pretty yeah, damn far from field goal range. You know, that was a tight throw. He's trying to get it in there to Jarius Wright. Wright falls coming out of it. Thinking maybe they can, they can get one on the boundary and catch it and then still have another play. Yeah, you, you know, clearly New Orleans is going to do all they can to keep this ball funneled back to the field. Now timeout. Third and final charge timeout. New Orleans. Taken by the Saints. I said this earlier, the largest lead in the franchise's postseason history given up in a loss for the Vikings 14 points. This would eclipse that. And the largest deficit overcome for a postseason win for the Saints in their franchise history is 10 points. The Saints franchise started in 67, won and six in the playoffs on the road. Saw Drew Brees, he hardly stand to watch. Pacing over on the side. <laughs> I know the feeling. Thought it was third and thrilling come from behind win for the Saints. Winner goes to Philly. You see that Sheldon Rankins and they run a twist inside and they want to try to get a shot. You're going to see what the Saints are doing. They get these guys down here. They're going to try to funnel everything in. And that's the short side of the field. And so they're figuring to save time. That's going to be where Keenan's going to try to work the ball in the boundary. How did he catch that? It's Stephon Diggs. Oh my God! How does it feel to lose New Orleans? Who that now? Who that? You all mean 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 comments to an innocent person like me? How does it feel to lose? How does it feel to lose like that? Huh? Who that now? Who that now? Woo! Hats off to Drew Brees, though. I love Drew Brees. 
Damn. What the hell? Where the hell did that come from? I... I thought that was going to be intercepted. But how was that? How did... How did Oh my god. I gotta say, these NFC games in the playoffs have been 10 times better than the AFC games. The AFC Patriots game last night was horrible. It was so, well, it was horrible, you know, by boring horrible, you know, but this was unbelievable. Where the hell did that come from, though? That's insane, though. How the hell did they lose, though? Oh, my God. What an insane game. How's it feel to lose, though, New Orleans? I'm just going to say that out there, you know. And you lost by a nail biter too, you know, so. Only that could have gone the way for us, but. But next week, I'm going to be wearing my Eagles jersey again. Go Eagles!